picture this. It's the not too distant future, and a mad Russian scientist is terrorizing America. There is but one way to prevent the destruction of New York City. Your complete and unconditional surrender. He starts off by blowing up San Francisco. Not only is that bad in and of itself, but it also means that William Sonoma's stock is going to plummet. Your president, who looks a little bit like a zombified Hillary Clinton, is depending on you to save the world. God bless you all. And God bless the United States of America. So, uh, who are you exactly? Well, you're this guy. Super soldier, Sam Gideon. A man who's tasked with the impossible. Ben, we've got eight hours to stop New York from becoming the next San Francisco. Uh, wait, wait, what? Someone needs to tell him it's a little late for that. Anyway, apparently the way to save the world is to fight wave after wave of bad guys in cover-based gameplay that, let's be honest here, looks and feels a lot like Gears of War. But that isn't necessarily a bad thing. This game features some nifty shooting sequences. This is gonna be fun. And we definitely like the mixture of American bravado and fancy Japanese mech suits. Unfortunately, the result is a decent shooter that isn't quite worthy of a full-price purchase. It features the least original character design in the history of modern storytelling. The Halo auditions are down the street, buddy. Your commander resembles Marcus Phoenix's grandpa, and based on the way these two look at each other, you'd swear someone should call HR. I mean, maybe it's supposed to be subtextual, but is there any doubt these two are doing it? What the f man? Fight out! Just one of you! In case you haven't noticed by now, the dialogue is just painful. Your suit is performing at nominal level, Sam. Never had a girl say that to me before. That doesn't even make sense. Fuck me. There is a solid campaign to be had, but with no co-op or multiplayer mode, you'll probably never pick this up again after you beat it. If you beat it. Vanquish gets a three out of five. Ugh.